All right, guys. Uh, Savannah was talking about like pretty much this was kind of a last minute thing, but she kind of gave me the idea of a lot of you are probably going to be searching how to add pictures in your planet zoo to your planet zoo billboard so figured you guys when you get your hands on this it's uh, we get this pack like an hour before everybody so uh we figured this maybe this might be one of the first things you're looking for like how do i get my pictures in game i want to do my custom maps and you know all this how do i do that so what i'm going to do this isn't going to be like some big 20 minute long tutorial it's probably going to take us like four minutes uh because it's super super easy so let's just jump right into it what you're going to need to do to get your own pictures in the correct spot to pull them up in Planet Zoo. All you're going to want to do is click on your file explorer down here. You're going to want to navigate to your document section. So click on documents and then a little ways down you'll see your frontier developments folder. I want you to double click on that and then of course you got it. Planet Zoo will be right here. If you have Planet Coaster it'll be right underneath it. Double click on that this is the goal guys your user media folder go ahead and double click on that my buddy leaf scott has been sending me some pictures to actually use in game so this is the the one i already have in there but now all you literally have to do is find a picture whether be it on google or one you already have like i've got this one uh this little guy pulled up that i've used uh, in a lot of thumbnails a little like otter concept art so all you have to do is click on this guy and drag him in there and drop it. So now let's go ahead. We'll switch over to in game and let's see if we have these guys to play with. All right, guys. So now we are in. This is my little Babarusa uh, little exhibit that Frontier let me kind of play with a little early to kind of actually they'll be featuring this on a live stream uh, fairly, fairly soon. But let's test our uh, let's test our billboard. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to look in your facilities tab, and then right down here at the bottom, the media devices and education. Scroll down just a hair, and here are our guys. So we've got lit versions. We've got just regular projection screens. This is a really, really large one. This is your this is your 32 meter one, and we've got all the way down. Like, see, we've got these little regular like large TV sized ones. So we'll go ahead, we'll place this on the wall right there. And now let's get in here and see if it worked. Click on your default. This is your little custom folder one. Click on that guy and there they are. Click on it, click OK. And we are in there. Awesome, awesome sign by my buddy Leaf Scott. And that is how you get your custom images into your actual zoo. And here is our little otter one. And then also too, um, Frontier has actual uh, default ones set up. So see, you can, like they've got little Chief Beef ones. Um, I'm not gonna show you how to do a video one just yet, um, just for the simple fact that there's it's, it has a little bit more involved because you have to kind of actually um, convert the file to a WebM file. Now, if you're familiar with doing that, um, it'll be the exact same procedure, except for you'll have to get your video, convert it to a WebM, and then it's the uh, it's the exact same thing. You can just drop your, uh, you drop your video into the uh, user media folder of Planet Zoo. So it really is that simple. And just to show you, what we'll do is, um, you see right now on this, on our um, actual R section, we have we just have two options. Remember those two, uh, the two pictures we put in there. Well, what we can do is, I'm going to, let me go back out here to the actual uh, folder. You can do this on the fly. You don't have to exit out of the game every time. So let me just get a new, let me just find a new image. We'll maybe do this one. And then I will drop it into our user folder. And if this all goes correctly, we will not have to exit the game. Okay, so the new one's in there. Now all you have to do, see refresh user folder. Bam, there's our third one. And yeah, you have to click OK or it'll bump back to what it was. There we go. 
that is it guys that is all that is to this so definitely definitely not complicated very fun little feature i am going to be diving into this uh probably pretty hard um you know just trying to get new fun designs on there um try maybe like try to do some um uh some aquariums like we had talked about there's the little babarusa that this the babarusa was kind of like my little animal they gave me but yeah custom billboards are absolutely in your hands now got a little swimmer out here so i can't wait to see what you guys end up doing with that um, and of course, like I said, if you have any questions, just let me know. Just pop them down in the comment section. Um, go back and rewatch this and pause if you need to. But um, like I said, guys, pretty straightforward, just like Planet uh, Coaster. So yeah, I hope you have fun and uh, let me know if you enjoyed this tutorial. Give me a thumbs up if you ended up enjoying it and subscribe to keep up with some more Planet Zoo mischief. And uh, yeah, I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you. See ya. Almost ready to re-engage power.